Good evening. To fly on God's eagle wings. Deuteronomy 32 verse 11 and 12. Like an eagle that kicks its young out of the nest, flutters over them and cuts them on its wings, which is spread out. Like an eagle that carries its chicks on its wings, so the Lord alone, he alone, has led his people. There was no other God with him. When an eagle chick is kicked out of its nest, it falls into the unknown, uprooting the nest in which he was being protected and cared for all his life, and certainty about where he is going, and, above all, fear that he will fall against the rocks, make this an unpleasant experience. Do you know the feeling that brings about sudden and drastic change in your life? You are diagnosed with cancer. You end up in hospital after a heart attack. Your life is suddenly turned upside down with the news of your child being injured in a car accident. Your partner dies and you have to start a new life. Of course, drastic changes do not always happen so suddenly. But the same feeling of insecurity and even panic can get grip of you when you have for instance, have to go to school or university for the first time, when you are forced to take a package at work, or when your financial security is taken away from you. It feels as everything around you and in you and your whole life is collapsing, and whether you are on a free fall that will result in irreversible devastating. Until. Until. The eagle that kicks its young out of the nest flutters over it and catches it on its wings, which is spread out and carries them to a safe destination. Until the same eagle that kicks its chicks out of the nest carries them on his wings. Herein lies a comfort for us as believers. The kick-out work is also done by the Lord himself, as traumatic as it is. Otherwise, we would never have left the nest. We would have stayed in our comfort zone in a small, protected environment forever. Mostly, it requires drastic action from the Lord before we change. Sometimes, he has to kick us out of our self-made security and supposed independence before we realize that we are not as good and strong and in control as we think. Literally, it says in the text that the eagle breaks up its nest. He makes it impossible for the chick to go back there. Even if the chick experienced the act of the eagle as rejection, it is not so. For its own safety and for the better destination, the eager soars off over the young and then weeps in below it and carries it on its spread wings to a new destination. The image of the eagle, the eagle in Deuteronomy is not that of an eagle that teaches its chick to fly, but the image of an eagle that takes its chick to another place, a place where it can be safe in the presence of the eagle. Thus the Lord makes it clear in Exodus 19 verse 4. You have seen what I did to Egypt and how I carried you safely on eagle's wings and brought you to me. You can be sure of this, brother and sister, even if you fall, you will not fall through. The Lord will flutter over you the Lord will fly under you and carry you on his wings to him, to safety. You may even not realize that he has already flown under you. The coming of his son is a proof of this indeed. Your life is in his hands. You fly on his wings. Through the grace in Jesus we are embraced and cared for like the apple of his eye in verse 10. Through his Holy Spirit, the Lord not only flatters above us, but he dwells in us and bides us 
inseparately to him. He becomes for us much more than the eagle guiding and protecting its chicks. He becomes our Heavenly Father who wants to give us good gifts. Stop therefore trying to fly by yourself so that you can see that the Lord is already carrying you safely on his wings. Relax in faith. Do not panic now. You are safe even if everything seems unfamiliar and scary to you. Even if you do not know where the Lord is going with you. He is under you. You fly on his wings. Start looking around and enjoy the flight. Good night.